The fallout from Yasser Qadi Gate continues. Muslim scholars spent years convincing their gullible followers that the Quran has been perfectly preserved right down to the letter. Eventually, non-Muslims started putting different versions of the Quran and different Quran manuscripts right in the faces of Muslims. Muslims ran to their scholars, begging them to defend the Quran. Instead, their scholars finally admitted that there are holes in the narrative. The standard narrative has holes in it. That's what I'm going to say. Ironically, Sheikh Yasser Qadi is one of the scholars who spread the false narrative. So the Caliph Uthman standardized the copies of the Quran, and therefore, from his time up until our time, there has never been two copies of the Quran that are different even in one letter or one word. Unfortunately for Yasser Qadi, there are so many holes in the narrative, he fell into one. Now he's stuck in a hole, so what does he do? He keeps digging and digging and digging. Yasser Qadi just scrubbed the interview from the internet. I had the link to the video because I shared the link and invited people to watch Yasser Qadi expose the Quran. But if you click on the link now, what do you see? Video unavailable. This video is private. Like the hundreds of verses that are missing from the Quran, this video has been abrogated. How did this happen? Quick recap. A few years ago, Hatun Tash and Jay Smith showed up to Speaker's Corner with dozens of different Arabic Qurans. These aren't different translations. These are different Arabic versions of the Quran that are used in different parts of the world. Not everyone adopted the 1924 Cairo edition that was magically declared to be the one and only Quran. Hatun and Jay put these Qurans in the faces of Muslims and showed them different Arabic words in different versions of the Quran. Muslims didn't know how to answer, so they ran to their scholars. Their scholars, who are typically compulsive liars, said, Oh, the differences are just differences in dialect or accents. But that didn't work for very long because there are people who can read Arabic, people who can read words on a page and know that this goes way, way beyond dialects and accents. Eventually, Muhammad Hijab, who wanted to give his followers soothing words, had Sheikh Yasser Qadi on his live stream. Finally, someone who could show why there are so many different Qurans, even though there's only one Quran. Muhammad Hijab knew that Sheikh Yasser Qadi has been saying for years that the Quran has been perfectly preserved since the time of Uthman. And Hijab knew that Sheikh Yasser Qadi has been admitting for years that there are different versions of the Quran even today. So obviously, Sheikh Yasser Qadi must know how to reconcile Islamic belief in perfect preservation with the reality of so many different Qurans. Otherwise, he's just been lying. Alas, Dr. Qadi would not answer, because he knew that the truth was coming out. On the one hand, he couldn't say that there's only one Quran, because saying that there's only one Quran would prove that he's a liar. On the other hand, he couldn't admit that there are different Qurans, because that would destroy the faith of Muslims. Quite a pickle. What did he do? He insisted that the Muslim community has to be shielded from reality. Because it should not be said in public. And I would never bring it up in public. And I don't think it is wise to bring it up in public. I don't even want to be explicit. It should only be discussed amongst those who are familiar with this science. I never brought this topic up myself. It should never be brought up in public. This is not something you discuss amongst the masses, Yaqi. It's not wise. Muhammad Hijab got so many complaints from Muslims about Yasser Qadi admitting that there are holes in the narrative that he was forced to abrogate part of the interview. But Sheikh Yasser Qadi wanted to show that he's not scared of the truth and that he's got nothing to hide. So he posted the interview on his channel. Then he saw how his words were being used to expose the myth of perfect preservation. He saw that I was posting clips from his interview to expose lies about the Quran. What did he do? He filed a false copyright complaint to YouTube. My video was taken down, but I won, and my video was put back up. Yasser Qadi also realized that Muslims were complaining. They were telling him in the comments 
that he was going to have to answer to Allah for destroying their faith. So, Yasser Qadi abrogated the comment section. But that wasn't enough. Muslims kept complaining. And now, the entire video has been abrogated. Here's what's amazing. All Yasser Qadi did in that interview was try to avoid lying. He didn't want to lie again because he knew people would use it to expose him as a liar. So he admitted that there are holes in the standard narrative, but said that he didn't want to discuss the issue in public. Notice, not lying was unacceptable to his followers. Muslims showered Yasser Qadi with abuse because he didn't want to lie again. Muhammad Hijab's followers demand lies. Yasser Qadi's followers demand lies. And if you don't give them the lies they want, they will do their absolute best to abrogate you. What a religion. To all my Muslim friends who are watching, and I know you're watching, please tell me more about how wonderful your religion is, and about how perfectly your book has been preserved, and about how honest your scholars and apologists are. I'm getting over a slight cold, and I hear that laughter is the best medicine. This is not a joke, brothers and sisters.